Did you know that nearly 2,000 years ago, Roman engineers built a stadium so advanced it still influences modern arenas today? The Colosseum, or as it was originally named, the Flavian Amphitheater, wasn't just a stage for gladiators. It was a bold symbol of Roman engineering, imperial power, and architectural genius. Construction began around 72 CE under Emperor Vespasian of the Flavian dynasty and was completed in just under a decade by his son Titus. Built on the site of Nero's private palace, the Colosseum was a political statement as much as a public spectacle, a gift back to the Roman people after years of corruption and excess. It was designed to host tens of thousands of spectators for brutal and spectacular events, from gladiator duels to exotic animal hunts and mock naval battles. From an engineering standpoint, the Colosseum was a masterpiece. It was constructed primarily using Roman concrete, an innovative material made from lime, volcanic ash, and stone aggregate. This gave the structure both strength and flexibility, allowing it to endure earthquakes and centuries of weathering. The outer walls were made of travertine limestone held together with iron clamps, while the inner structure utilized tuff, a lightweight volcanic stone, and brick-faced concrete for support and ease of construction. These material choices weren't random. They reflected a deep understanding of weight distribution, durability, and cost efficiency. The Colosseum's elliptical shape wasn't just visually striking, it was practical. It gave every spectator a clear view of the action below, and its layout allowed for efficient crowd movement. With 80 entrances and a system of vaulted corridors, the Colosseum could seat and empty up to 50,000 people in a matter of minutes, an architectural feat still admired today.